Hello, hello, it's Stumplet here. Here's an item on geometry. Try to answer this question within 10 seconds. Given this figure, find the measure of angle X. We have choice A, choice B, choice C, choice D, and choice E. 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 75 degrees, 135 degrees. So which of these angles is angle X? As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Alright, the key step to answering this question is the knowledge of the cosine law. Because, well, for the cosine law, it relates the three sides of the triangle and an angle of the triangle. A very perfect example um, is the given figure. So 3, 5, and 7, those are the three lengths. And we have an angle, x. So from the cosine law, we will be able to form the following. So the square of the side opposite the angle, so square of the side opposite the angle, so in this case it's the 7, it's going to be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, the 3 squared plus 5 squared, minus twice the product of the two sides, so 2 times 3 times 5, and then Obviously, since it's called the cosine law, don't forget the cosine of the angle. In this case, cosine x. So all you have to do is try to get cosine x first, and hopefully one of the five choices is going to tell us which one is it, it is. So to get cosine x, we just kind of have to simplify a lot of things here. So 7 squared becomes 49. 3 squared is 9. 5 squared is 25. 2 times 3 times 5. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So 30 cosine x. So let's try to simplify stuff here. Um, 49, well this is 34, so 49 minus 34, we're going to get 15 on the left side, equals negative 30 cosine x. So we can divide both sides by negative 30. Cosine x equal to 15 divided by negative 30. So we're, we're going to get cosine x equals negative 1 half. So let's go back to the five choices. We have cosine x equals negative one half. Cosine of 60 degrees gives us one half. Cosine of 90 degrees gives us zero. Cosine of x gives us, a uh, cosine of 120 degrees gives us negative one half. Cosine of 75 degrees gives us square root of six minus square root of two all over four. Cosine of um, 135 degrees gives us negative two, a uh, negative square root two over two. So obviously I just mentioned the correct answer out of the five. It is going to be angle C. Uh, it's going to be choice C. Angle X measures 120 degrees, and this is the final answer. Hopefully, you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.